What's going on Lego Maniacs? It's Ty, the Lego guy here, and welcome to another Lego Star Wars review. Today we're taking a look at the brand new Death Star Trench Run that's set 75329. It has 665 pieces, came out in 2022, and it retails for 60 USD. Now when I first heard about this uh, model, I was a little bit skeptical just because the vignette type sets haven't been all that great, but this one, in my opinion, they've done a lot right with it. We're gonna get into obviously its positives and negatives, figure out why I'm saying that, and just really break this one down. But anyways, enough talk, let's get right into it. And to kick us off, we'll begin by taking a look at the box art. Love the look of these 18 and up sets. They're basically mini UCS sets and they just look really clean, really premium. Moving to the side of the box, it just has a bunch of writing. But then at the back, it gets a little bit more into the model and it even has some movie scenes, which I'm a big fan of them doing that with these 18 plus sets, just to give you, gives you guys a little bit better idea of what it's supposed to look like. And then a little bit more view of the set. Also the size is in the bottom right corner. Then moving to the side of the box, shows Luke's X-Wing. Love the fact that they're having scenes on the side of the box. If you want to display all your boxes, you can do that. In fact, let's just show that off. So it has miniature little scenes of each of the sets, if you get what I'm saying. And then at the bottom of the box, just the barcode. And on the top, literally just shows a piece. Let's now take a look at the set itself. And here we have the set. So we'll give you guys a 360 view. As you can see, there's a ton of greebling that basically is just detail on the Death Star. With all these different pieces that they used just really gives a accurate representation of what it's supposed to look like. Now the back of this obviously is a little bit lackluster it's not supposed to be displayed from this angle, but from this angle, it just looks, that looks great. I mean, that just captures the overall movie. I mean, that's what you think of when you think of A New Hope, or at least this particular scene. What I also like about it is you notice at the bottom, it says the force is strong with this one, Darth Vader. So giving you guys a little bit closer look, let's center in on this Griebling just a little bit more. I'm just so impressed. Like this basically is what mock builders do. And I don't think a mock builder could really improve on this all that much. You can also rotate the towers, guns, just like so. So however, however you wanna display it, I like to display it like that. And uh, yeah, it just, uh, Looks uh, again just quite accurate. Now what I want to do now is just give you guys a little bit better view of the little ships. And the first ship that we'll take a look at is going to be the X-Wing fighter. As you can see this does a pretty adequate job representing it. Has R2-D2 on the top, that is a printed piece. By the way there is no stickers in this set fortunately. And there's what it looks like head on. And then to the side we'll also show off these engines. Very creative use of the ruby pieces. I think that they really look good as engines. Let's now take a look at the TIE Advanced. And here we have Vader's TIE Fighter, AKA the TIE Advanced. It's actually a little bit more of a uh, formidable fighter in case you guys are wondering if you care about the lore at all. And I think it looks quite good at this scale. The window piece is a printed piece which is quite nice. That would have been a pain to kind of stick if it was a sticker. Let's now take a look at the TIE Fighter. So it is worth mentioning, you get two of these fighters. You guys probably already know that, but the difference with this one and the other one is this one has laser bolts flying out, whereas the other TIE Fighter does not have that. For the scale that it's at, much like Vader's TIE Fighter, I think that this really looks quite accurate. I don't think you could really do much a much better job at this scale. Let's now get into the end of the review and get my final thoughts. Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. This set really does an accurate job representing 
the Death Star Trench Run. In fact, I'd like to even expand on this and make it a bit bigger. It would have been nice if they maybe included the exhaust port that Luke Skywalker shoots into. But again, the fact that they don't include that isn't a big deal. I would have really liked it if this had maybe a, a feature where you could maybe make the X-Wing sway back and forth with like some sort of Technic me mechanism that was built into the model. I think that would have been really cool. I also wish they maybe included a minifigure with this set. Not the end of the world that they didn't, but it would have been nice. Love the fact that it says, or it has that little plaque that says, the force is strong with this one. I'm just a big fan of them having these little quotes on the bottom. Overall, I think this is a pretty fairly priced set as well. If you're a big price per piece person, you're getting each piece for less than 10 cents. But again, it doesn't have a minifigure. So basically what I wish they would have done with this just to improve it a little bit would be maybe have a Technic feature where you can make the X-Wing sway back and forth. And if they included a minifigure as well, this set would have been perfect. But let me know what your personal thoughts are on this one. If you like it, if you don't, any areas you think they could maybe improve on it. Always interested to hear your guys take. But that pretty well does the review. But if you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future LEGO Star Wars reviews, comparisons, or anything else Star Wars related. We do something like this every single Tuesday. But thanks again for watching, guys. And I'll catch you on the next one.